Let's talk Tanya for the 12th of year of a leap year. In yesterday's Tanya, we discussed about the need for Tzimtzum, this divine contraction and concealment, in order to create a bridge between the infinite light of God and the creation, which is finite. So in order for that to happen, we need to have um, this contraction. After the contraction, after the Tzimtzum, so we have now is we have two different energies, two different lights. We have the infinite energy, the infinite light of God, what's known as the Oyr Ein Saf, the endless light of God. And then we have this finite, you might want to say, um, ray of energy, which will facilitate the creation of finite beings. So um, by way of example, you might want to say, let's say you have a, a nuclear power plant, and if you're able to draw from it a feed of 100 volts, so that's somewhat similar to what we're talking about over here. But not exactly. Why is that? Because ultimately, a nuclear power plant, I don't know how many volts it is, whether it's uh, a million, a billion, a trillion, many trillions, ultimately, it's a finite number. And therefore, 100 volts relative to any finite number, there is some sort of relationship between those two numbers. On the other hand, between finite and the infinite, there is no relationship whatsoever. By way of example, so let's say you have um, a billionaire. Is a dollar worth anything to a billionaire? Absolutely. A dollar is something. Um, proof being that if the billionaire is proud of being a billionaire, the reason why is because he has a billion dollars. So a dollar obviously has to have significance. So a dollar is significant, and a hundred dollars is a drop more significant. Again, a dollar, it, it, it's a very little significance, but you can't say that it has no significance whatsoever. Then a thousand dollars, a million dollars. But what about if you're not a billionaire, but you are on infinity ear? Um, you wake up every morning, you check your your the, your bank app, and your balance for today is infinity. And it doesn't make a difference how much you spent yesterday. You always have infinity. So then, one dollar is absolutely irrelevant to you. A hundred dollars irrelevant. A million dollars irrelevant. If someone comes and says, "Hey, can I have a billion dollars?" You're like, "Sure, why not?" A billion. It's all they're all, they're all numbers, and all numbers are meaningless relative to infinite. So here we're talking about these two energies. You have the infinite light of God, and then you have the finite energy that comes down. So you realize we have two energies. But the distance that separates the two of them, there's this infinite divide between these two. The infinite light is so much greater than the finite light. Um, what are the names of these two types of energies, the infinite energy and the finite energy? And um, a little more about them and how they operate, that we'll find out, God willing, in tomorrow's Tanya.